If you have a herniated disc in your lower back, what is it and how can you get over it? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine expert. I share sports, exercise, and health information, as well as stories and lessons from some of the world's greatest athletes and coaches to help you become a champion in sports, business, and life. A herniated disc, whether it's in your neck or back, is a very difficult problem. In this video, we're going to talk about a herniated disc in your lumbar spine or your lower back. Again, what this is, is basically the disc between some of the bones of your lumbar spine, and there's five discs that potentially can be involved. What can happen is that over time, or maybe after a traumatic event, the outer lining of that disc can rupture. And again, sometimes this just occurs with age, but when that outer lining can rupture, sometimes the inner fluid inside the disc, the, the nucleus pulposus, if you want the technical term, can leak out. And then that gelatinous fluid can put pressure on one of the nerve roots as it exits the lumbar spine. When you get that pressure on the nerve root, that can cause pain that shoots down one of your legs. It can cause numbness or tingling, maybe in certain toes or in all of your foot. It may actually give you weakness, difficulty pulling your big toe up, difficulty pulling your whole ankle up towards your head, your whole foot up towards your head. So it's always a good idea to see a doctor fairly quickly to get it checked out. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that you would need surgery. Sometimes it could be rest and activity modification that helps it get better. Sometimes it's working with a physical therapist, you know, on stretching and strengthening exercises, core strengthening, things like that to take pressure off your lumbar spine. It may be anti-inflammatory medications or these medications called uh, steroid dose packs, like Meddraw dose packs, where you take a certain number of steroids every day, you know, a certain number the next day, things like that, until the symptoms go away. All of that sometimes can be helpful. If it gets really bad and somebody's really struggling, sometimes a spine physician or spine surgeon can actually do an injection of something like cortisone to help decrease the inflammation around that nerve root, and that can get your symptoms better. So not everybody needs surgery, and sometimes you can get back to even high-level sports without surgery. But if the symptoms just aren't getting better or they're getting worse, especially neurologic symptoms like that weakness we talk about, seeing a spine surgeon fairly quickly can be a really important thing because yes, yeah, sometimes a surgery where the spine surgeon goes in and just takes out the extruded part of the disc or the part of the disc that's leaked out, relieving pressure on that nerve root can be very, very helpful. Now, if this type of video is helpful, click the video below for much more sports and injury information. And make sure to subscribe for all kinds of helpful videos to help you become a champion in what you love to do.